Kelly and Dixie D'Amelio open up about their reality show. We'll tell you what they said and how some TikTok creators are reacting to the possibility of the app being banned in the U.S. I'm Kelsey Banis and you're watching The Daily Report. Happy, happy Thursday. Whew, I really had to think about that one. <laughs> it's a gloomy day. Gotta love it. Back in April, Charlie D'Amelio hinted at a life beyond TikTok for herself, her sister, and their family. Once the entire family signed with United Talent Agency, one of Hollywood's top agencies, we all knew something was a cooking. Chef Boyard D'Amelio. <laughs> when asked if it could possibly be a reality show about the whole fam, Charlie hinted, quote, I mean, definitely something that would be super fun. She went on to say how cool it would be for people to see what goes on when they're not posting TikToks. She added how much their fans love when they go live, so maybe they can try some new things. Ooh, maybe cooking in the kitchen with the Demelios, Dishing with the Demelios, Dining with the Demelios. God, I'm just so good at titles. <laughs> Charlie's parents, on the other hand, were not as coy. Charlie's dad, Mark, said, quote, we're figuring out all that stuff right now. This has all kind of happened all really quickly, but if we're gonna do it, we'll go all in with it. And like Charlie said, let everyone get to know us a little bit more closely. So we're in the process of working it out right now. Well, that news broke in the middle of the lockdown, so of course not much has happened since then, but now Charlie is back and being just as vague as before. And when she was stopped by the Hollywood Fix paparazzi, they even asked if she had stuff in the works or like what she's working on. She said she has a lot going on, but she can't say anything. So maybe this has something to do with it? Hmm, I'm too invested. In an interview with Cosmopolitan, she opened up about the possibility of the show, telling the magazine that there are some things in the works. Oh, well, there you go. She added, quote, I'm just excited for people to see more of our family dynamic. That's really what makes us who we are. We are super close as a family, so that's something I'd love to bring more light to and just have fun with it. That would be exciting, and I really hope it does happen. Dixie even added that they will probably be nervous at first, but once they get used to it, it will be, quote, so exciting knowing that people will get to know us and our personalities more. If only Mark would tell us what's really going on, because I feel like he's behind this somehow, some way. Oh, Mark. But it's definitely good that this is in the works because the two may not have TikTok to fall back on in the future. Dun, dun, dun. A couple of days ago, we reported here that the president of the United States is looking into banning TikTok, which has people freaking out. As in like Kyle, because he can't dance no more. This news has left TikTok stars wondering what they will do if they no longer have the app. Thomas Petru spoke to TMZ, telling them that the app does have privacy issues and a lot of problems. So while he hopes that an American competitor can step up, he'll be working on his YouTube channel. He told the news outlet, quote, I'm an entrepreneur and I don't really mind if it gets shut down. Wouldn't have a problem for me. I love YouTube and I wanna be able to create the best content for that platform. So what will other creators do without the app? Well, we know that Addison Rae, who just hit 50 million followers on TikTok, will be starring in an animated movie coming out in September. Can't relate. We already talked about Dixie and Charlie's reality show, but let's not forget Dixie's breaking into the music world with her new song, Be Happy, which honestly, I've had stuck in my head for like a week now. It's a bop. <laughs> the sisters have also partnered with Hollister to test their jeans and become the new faces of the brand, so they'll totally be fine. Smaller creators, and by small, we mean smaller than Charlie, Dixie, and Addison, which is like basically everyone, they are trying to be optimistic. Alyssa Marie, the co-founder of Clubhouse Next, seems pretty stoked for the future. Another house? I gotta do a daily report on just the houses. She told Seventeen, quote, I'm honestly excited for what's to come after TikTok. Yes, the app has given me opportunities of a lifetime that led me to creating Clubhouse Next. But after a while, you tend to ask, what's next? Alyssa went on to say that the loss of the app will allow creators to focus more on other platforms and leave room for another upcoming app. Isaac Presley, who recently helped launch Clubhouse FTB, seemed to feel similarly about the potential loss of TikTok. I mean, he did first say that it would break his heart if the app got banned, but he feels confident that content creators will find ways to share their work. But what will Isaac do? Well, he told Seventeen, quote, I started with only acting and have ventured into music and more recently social media. We're doing the same thing and making sure to become regular content creators on all networks. Of course, many creators have been forced to make the switch in the past. We all remember when Vine shut down in 2017 and many creators either made the jump to YouTube, Instagram, or even Musical.ly, which as we all know was TikTok before TikTok was TikTok. How many times have I said TikTok? So who knows what new app will pop up if TikTok is shut down. But if and when it does, as Isaac said, quote, we'll adjust accordingly. 
But now we want to know what you think. What platform would you prefer your favorite creators to jump to if TikTok gets banned? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel and make sure to check us out at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. I'm Kelsey Banis and uh, I feel like something new's coming. I feel something brewing. Something's a cooking. We're cooking in the kitchen. <laughs>